let me start with thanking our sponsor. Our host sponsor is BIBD. Our platinum sponsor is Progressive. Uh, gold sponsor is CIC Environmental Services. And silver sponsor is BLNG. So a special thanks to the sponsors without whom this evening would not be possible. So now it's time to introduce who the speaker is. Uh, Chef Luke McCann, uh, originally from New Zealand. Uh, he is the head of culinary school from uh, Laksamana College of Business. Uh, chef Luke has been a chef for over 30 years. Uh, he still looks very young, but uh, you know, it, it, you've been around for a while, huh? And um, you know, she, he used to work in private yacht uh, restaurants in Melbourne, in Beijing, Chiang Mai, and San Francisco. So prior to coming to Brunei, um, you know, he, he ran his own restaurant in New Zealand. And, um, you know, he was, uh, it was an award-winning restaurant and he was a chef patron there. So, um, you know, Chef McCann has appeared on several TV programs. Uh, he has written articles for industry magazines and uh, pu published a cookbook. Uh, and, you know, he believed the most important ingredient in the kitchen is knowledge. Not very sexy, but very practical. So with that, uh, Chef McCann, oh, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for your, uh, for your introduction. Thank you for inviting me here. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I always like to talk about uh, um, anything you know about. So. This is... This is probably the cleanest kitchen that I've ever seen. Great, yes, we, we work hard to keep it so. Um, it's been getting used quite a lot in the last month, five weeks, we've been assessing our certificate diploma students. So it's been a, a real uh, production line. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we've, we, we try to keep our housework uh, up to speak. So, so this is a hybrid between a real kitchen and a classroom. Yeah, so... Uh, with, without get, getting too far into it, we have a uh, sort of a practice area here, practical uh, area. There's a demonstration spot right here where the chef does the demo and so on. Out the back is the hot kitchen. Uh, we have stoves and banks of stoves and so on set up there for for the students to, to cook. There's a deep fryer, dishwasher, and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, and through there is this. That's all glass. Um, so I will show you. That's. Uh, so through there is uh, it's dark at the moment, so um, it is a restaurant space. So we have so a you're home alone right now. I am. I'm home alone. Yeah, I'm home <laughs> alone. Yeah. So we uh, we 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 do various catering events linked with LCB. Uh, we also do breakfast seven days a week at the hotel. The students themselves are doing. We do egg station. We do our own, you know, baked bread, baked muesli. We do a, a simple but really really good buffet, it's at Akma. Um, and the students run it, the students, the students ban it, we supervise them, we, we, we bring them in and they really, really, really enjoy it. You know, it's great to see them there. It sounds employee. like Disneyland to you. Disneyland. <laughs> it's got it's, all, your, all your tools, all your gadgets. Yeah. Um, it's where I want to be right now, it's fine, it's, it's good. Uh -huh. and, and kitchen tools are not cheap at all, are they? I beg pardon? The, the, the kitchen tools are not cheap at all. No, the industrial not, kitchen. I mean, good, good equipment's never that, never that cheap, but I'm, I wouldn't say, you know, if you buy right, if you buy a good piece of machinery, you know, I've got some knives and some random, some random, for so, so 25 plus years, you know, so if you do buy, if you do buy, um, uh, smart and buy uh, a, a good brand um, and look after it, it can last. So. Wonderful. So, I'll start by um, asking you to share with our audience how do you get into the career as a chef? So it started for me uh, in Palmerston North in New Zealand in the late 80s. So I finished, I finished high school and um, I actually started doing a business computing course because I was quite Relatively, relatively smart. I did uh, pretty well in you know maths and physics and a few other things, so I could type. 
which was a great skill, thanks to my uh, fourth form form teacher, Mary Lynch. Thank you for suggesting that. Uh, it was very, uh, very useful. Anyway, I started doing this course, this Polytech uh, course, Business Computing Course Programming, essentially. And it was not for me. It was just, um, uh, you know, I knew straight away within the first week, I was like, mm, cannot, I've made, I've made a mistake. So I went to the matron of the school and I said to her, um, Madam, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've, um, I've, I've got to go. Um, can you, yeah, you could. Uh, so anyway, she gave, me a, she gave me a full refund. I was like, great. And the next door to the house I was living in was a guy that had a plant shop. So I needed a job and I had him up for a job when I was doing all sorts of random jobs. I was filling up people's trailers with soil and separating seedlings and painting things and delivering stuff in a truck and I really, I really enjoyed it. I was out there working with my hands, I was in the, you know, watching things grow. And one of the women that had been there for some time said to me one day, we're having a break, drinking Milo. And uh, she said, look, you always pick up the women's magazines, the women's weekly, the new idea. You go straight to the recipes. Clearly you're interested in food. You probably aren't going to stay here working for Wally for the rest of your life, you're 18. So uh, have you considered working, you know, in a kitchen? And I saw, I saw I'd never, it never occurred to me because you know back then it wasn't this. I don't know, I don't know why this this kind of like career where there's a bit of a little bit of mojo and and, and chefs prancing around and parading around like this like they can do these days and I really it just really resonated with me. So anyway, I thought about it. I thought about it and I went to I contacted the local polytech uh, in another town not far away. And I went there and um, I can't remember exactly how it happened, but I had an interview and I just walked into the kitchen and it was just this great, great feeling. You know, there was, there was machines. Love from first sight. Topping, yeah. Oh, in China. China. <laughs> yeah. And I, I wanted it and I really wanted to do this. And I was like, this is definitely me. And so um, the following January, I think it was, I started a diploma, culinary diploma, um, similar to what we're doing here, actually, London City and Guilds. Uh, based on London City and Guilds, and it was just best, best, best time for me. I really enjoyed it. I felt safe. Finally, I felt like I was, I was onto something. Um, I wouldn't say I was lost, but I knew where I was going from that moment on. So the rest uh, is meant to You, you were very clear-headed. Once yeah, you I stepped into the kitchen, knowing that you know this is yeah. a tough for the next thirty years. I was secure. I felt secure. I met uh, Will Heswick and uh, Joe Power, who were amazing mentors and I, I think about both of them uh, quite often and I, I hope that one day I can be half the half the teachers that they are and, and continue the good work because that's um, yeah, that's what the is. So had there been any doubt at all, any difficult time throughout your career that makes you think twice about pursuing a career as a chef? No, no, nothing that made me think, oh look I should do something else. No, I mean, the transition to education has been a natural one, and um, in many ways, it's really, it's, it's really the same. It's actually not the same. It's very, very similar to, to working in a commercial kitchen. You know, you're mentoring students, you're disciplining students, you're uh, counselling students, you're teaching students, supporting students, uh, setting up templates, recipes, pointing out all the time. So it's actually really, really similar, and that's fine with me because I've, I've been good with it um, for the last 29, nearly 30 years. I've, so, Chef, Chef McCain, I, I would like to ask, you know, when you were growing up, were there any traits or any sign that, that says that, hey, um, one day you're going to be a good chef? Do your family, your friends think that you cook well when you were little? Um, a couple of things. I wouldn't say it was, I wouldn't say it was um, you know, visible from 100 meters away. I... I can remember carving a little car out of lunch and sausage in my school lunch when I was about eight years old. Um, I can remember walking along the farm next to where I lived with my father and getting field mushrooms. He basically threw them in a pot and boiled them with onions and stock cube and then thickened it with a, a flour and water. And I can remember having that on toast and thinking, oh, wow, we just picked these. They were eating them. This is great. This is cool. Um, I can remember stealing strawberries from the farmer's farm next door and um, I've always enjoyed food. I mean, the kitchen is the most secure, most comforting place in, in the home. And um, 
Yeah, I guess there was indicators, but I wouldn't say it was that clear. I, I do remember seeing Jacques Pan uh, in the late mid eighties and thinking, "Wow, this guy's this guy's special. This guy's got some, some talent and some skill that he's he's, um, you know, he's, he's learned things so, so well now. They're part of the retrospective." So, 